Hello, and welcome to a session on how to calculate the surface area of composite solids. Now, composite solids are solids that are made up of different other solids put together or some taken away. And uh, what we're going to do is have a look at these four elements, and I'll be work walking you through it um, as well. So the first thing is we need to work out how many surfaces there are in total in the whole solid. Second, the shape and dimensions of each surface before we can calculate what the area is of the surface. And then finally, add it all up. So that's what we'll be doing in these examples. And these are the exact same um, examples that you'll be finding the answers for. So we're going to be working on it together. So first one, a composite solid looks like two rectangular prisms joined together. So what we're going to do first is split it across here. And we're going to call that shape number one and shape number two. And we're going to do the dimensions as we go. Let's move up. So shape number one. And I happen to know that this length here is the same as that, so that's 3.3. .3. And this length here is 10.2 minus 2.7. So what's that? Seven point five. Okay, times seven point five. So that's the dimensions of this one. And I happen to know that there are, um, on the other side behind, is also the same shape exactly. So that's another one in behind. So there's two of them. Shape number two is here. And we have dimensions of, well, that's 2.7. And that's 8.5. And exact same shape around the other side behind. Shape two behind, so there's two of those as well. Shape number three is at the back. In behind, I'll just put an arrow in behind. And that is a big rectangle. Dimensions are 10.2 times 9.4. There's only one of those. Shape number four is the base underneath. Underneath, so that's 8.5 this way. Um, oh, it's the same as that, 9.4. Shape number five, service number five. I'll go at the top. That's 3.3 .3 times 9.4. Number six is this one here. That's the same dimensions as our rectangle there. The length, that was uh, 7.5. And across this way was 9.4. And seven is this distance here, which is 8.5, 8.5 there minus the 3.3. 8.5 minus 3.3. That's 5.2. And across this way, that's 9.4. And shape number eight is this one. That's 2.7 times 9.4. So all you do is, on a calculator, do all the calculations. You'll get an answer for each one of those. And then when you get all the answers, you just add them all up. And that'll be the service area for this one. Shape number two. 
looks like a tent. So we've got on this side, I'll split it this way again. So we've got a rectangle, shape one, and shape two. In behind at the back is the same, one and two. So shape number one, rectangle, is 9.6, and oh, sorry, 96, and looks like it's 53. And because there's two of them, number two, half the base times the height. Because it's a triangle, now the height there, what's that? Uh, well, from there to there, it's 53, and the total is 67. So this little bit here is 14. And that length there is same as that, 96. And because there's two of them, okay, shape number three, service number three, is the base underneath. There's only one of them. And that's a rectangle, 125 times 96. Number four is this side wall here. And there's two of them. Well, dimensions are 125 and 53. And so that's four in the other side. So that leaves the roof. Okay, there's two of them as well. One on this side and one on the other side we can't see. And that's 50 times 125 times two. That's that one. So work out on a calculator all this and then just add it all up. Number three, shape, is a cube. And we have the front part here, there's a little bit cut out. And because it's a cube, dimensions are all the same. Shape, surface one, two, and three are all squares. And they're all six by six. So one, two, and three are all six times six, and because there's three of them. Okay, now this L shape here, there's three of those, they're all the same. So shape four and five are three of those as well. So shape four and five Shape four, we have 12 times six. And there's three of them. Shape five is another six by six. And there's three of those, because there's one, one here, one over there, and one there. Okay, in behind. Number seven. 8 and 9 are all the same. They're all a big square. So 7, 8 and 9. 7, 8, 9 and 10. And 10. All of them are all squares. And the dimensions are 12 by 12. And because there's four of them, oh, that's that one. This one we have a semicircle cylinder on top of a rectangular prism. So we'll do the, the cylinder first. Surface one, it's, that'll be the same. So that's a semicircle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Now we need to know what r is. And I've got a 38 across there. That's the di diameter, so that's half of that. 
Because that would be the radius from near half of 38 to 19. Pi r squared. Uh, but it's only half a circle. Um, but there's two of them. But that's okay, we'll just leave it at that. That'll cover shape one. Pi r squared. But it's only semicircle, but there's two of them, so that's all good. Okay. Then we've got this, um, the wall of the cylinder. And we need to know the length here, which is 40. So it's shape 2. All of this around here. And shape 2, length of 40. And then we need to know this distance, which is... 2 times pi times the radius. But there's only a semicircle, so it's just pi times the radius. And that's shape 2. 3 will go underneath. That's 38 times 40. Uh, 4 and 5 are the same. So 4 and 5 the same. So it's 2 times 38 and 30. And that's 4 and 5. Okay, now we've got the base. Just leaves these two side ones here. The side share 6 and 7. They're both the same. So it's 2 times 40 and times 30. There we are. Done. And so you just add that all up and we're finished.